Okay, so we're here with Dennis at uh, Zynaptic Superbooth. Hey, everybody. We're here at Superbooth 2023 in Berlin in the FEZ, having a great time. And we're showing Orange Vocoder 4 that we've recently released on May 1st. Um, it's a VST3 audio units, VST2 and uh, AX native plugin for Mac and PC, 64-bit required. It runs native on Apple Silicon. So what you'd expect in 2023. It's a vocoding plugin with a ton of additional functionality, but even the vocoder part is uh, more than you might think you'd get. It actually is 24 vocoders. So it's not like, oh, we emulated one or the other vintage gear. Um, no, it's, like it's, it's loaded with cross synthesis algorithms that we use for vocoding, but that really are all about hybridizing two sounds in, a, in many different ways. Um, some of them sounding really, really far out and gritty and destroyed like crazy. Some actually model analog behavior. Some are LPC filtering. There's lots of stuff that you really should check out uh, using the free trial from the website. Uh, the plugin also features a built-in virtual analog synthesizer that you can use as a carrier, but you can, of course, also use an external signal as the carrier waveform. But the built-in synth is actually pretty powerful. It's got linear FM, ring modulation, sync, a nine voice, unison mode, a ladder filter um, with uh, self-oscillation uh, near the top. It, it's a great piece of kit. And we've also built in a tuning, an automatic tuning effect, because people like confusing that with vocoders. And we figured, why not have both and yeah. layer them? <laughs> so. It, it, Using some of the sounds of the vocoder um, that are more subtle, you can make vocal harmony layers really quickly. We've got audio freezing where you can actually store a short drone with the preset or its own um, freezer preset. So it, it's really a sound design playground with many, many options. Check it out. So um, the overview page of the vocoder is ba ba built like a uh, interactive signal flow diagram. So it shows the, you the modules the plugin has, how are they connected, and if you change the routing from there, it'll update to reflect what you're doing so you're never going to guess what's happening. Um, you'll see what's happening very explicitly. You can solo the different layers, mute them, and it'll update to show you what you're hearing, what you're not hearing, and all that sort of thing. Um, We've got our hover menus for many functions in the plugin where you click a button to open this bunch of um, icons, and just by hovering the mouse over them, you'll temporarily switch to that so you can hear what it does. And then when you like what you hear, you just click on it, and you're done. That's nice. a very fast way of um, finding the best setting for your scenario. Great also, um, this overview page, gives you the m most important parameters, like the form and shift in the vocoder mode or the macro for the synthesizer. But if you need more detail, you can just click on the header of one of those modules to enter its detail page, where you get more parameters for the module in question. And the synth, for example, looks like this. Now, here, again, if I need more control of one of the synth modules, It'll open in this lower pane where otherwise the keyboard resides to give you more knobs when you need them um, while hiding detail that you may not want right now from view to make it more transparent how to get to your um, desired result quickly. Um, Excellent. Same for modulation. For example, the oscillator one pitch modulation here has a wide selection of modulators including FM or polyphonic audio rate LFOs. And I select those by hovering over the thing. And I'll hear th uh, that modulator in action, if I'm playing notes, of course, um, while hovering over the uh, mode icon. That's a great feature. It's it, Yeah, we, we spent a lot of time. I mean, we took about 200 years to finish this plugin. People were thinking, oh, man, it's vaporware. It's never going to happen. Fuck that. <clears throat> uh, you know, but. No, we actually spent a lot, lot of time into optimizing workflow. Because my experience with mixing records with vocoders is always I, I would load up the thing and kind of like it, and I start tweaking 2 million filter bank release times and parameters. And after about an hour, it didn't really change that much, but I'm still not happy, and I'll try something else. Um, we really tried to avoid that sort of thing with this, where um, 
you don't have to tweak two dozen parameters to get to the optimal result for each and every mode. We, we did that for you. We spent r tons of time fine-tuning the behavior so that most of the time you just choose the basic sound and it'll be ready to go. Like with high, high speech intelligibility, good dynamic range, and um, a clear sound. Excellent. Can we hear it in action? Can we hear, can we hear some of the sounds? Can we hear it in action? Yes, we can hear some of the sounds. So, for example, the um, LPC AT Warm is one of my favorite algorithms. Let me solo the uh, input vocal real quick. S Systematic breakdown. Freeze, this is a shakedown. Hope y'all all are awake now. We can't get down. And I'm just using a sawtooth uh, waveform to produce this. Systematic breakdown. Freeze, this is a shakedown. Hope y'all are awake now. We can't get down. Systematic. Or you could do chords, of course. This is a shakedown. Hope y'all are awake now. We can't get down. So you can already, with that one, uh, hear how much detail you're really getting in the reproduction of the vocal formats applied to the synth. We've got. Another one I like a lot is the uh, multi-resolution wavelet one called uh, the Gabor Multi-Resolution Third Order. It's got a very clear sound. Awake now, we can't get down. Systematic breakdown, freeze, this is a shakedown. Hope y'all are awake now, we can't get down. So that nice. one's really good for vocal harmonies because it doesn't, if you layer it with the original voice, it doesn't really sound that obviously computerized, you know, it can, it, and it's got a very tight amplitude uh, to it, so it, it'll be masked really well by the original audio. Great. Speaking of which, I do have the pitch quantization effect in here, which I can layer with the vocoder, and it's not designed to be like the Antari solution that can like be really clean sounding, or, you know, no, we intentionally focused on making it sounding different than that, because you have that already, you know. So what we did is we took a, a much more granular approach that can sound really electric and rough around the edges and like in your face. And it's uh, all awake now. We can't get down. Systematic breakdown. Freeze, this is a shakedown. Hope y'all all awake now. We can't get down. You get the idea. So it's yeah. and, and layering Take that with back. the vocoder, um, with the pitch quantizer being monophonic, but the vocoder polyphonic, you can get some really cool things where the pitch of the vocal will kind of slide to the closest match while the rest is a chord. Break down, freeze, this is a shakedown. Hope y'all are awake now. We can't get down. Oh, I'm an octave too low. Freeze, this is a shakedown. Hope y'all are awake now. We can't get down. You should really check this out in the studio because it gives you a lot of flexibility. Yeah. Um, you said there's a free another version. new thing that we've done since we initially announced way too long ago is we we took the feedback from users that we got that one thing they do not that they'd like to see improvement on is the latency aspect. Many of our plugins do some high-tech stuff that requires latency in order for the algorithm to look at the signal and learn about it enough to do what it does. But for a vocoder, we figured, yeah, you really want to be able to take this on stage and not deal with delays. So yeah. we added two zero latency um, analog modeled vocoder modes that will actually give exactly zero samples. So you can Excellent. use that on stage. Or if you have a vocal artist performing on the microphone, you can feed that signal back to them with the minimum. You know, of course, you'll get your I.O. latency on your hardware. Uh, we can not do anything about that yet. We don't have time travel algorithms. We're working yeah. on that stuff. Yep. Stay tuned for the results. Um, but yeah, zero latency operation is possible and a lot of fun. Great. Lovely. Uh, and how much is it? How much is it? Where do people get it from? It's about one million dollars and a kidney and your firstborn. No, actually, it's priced like our other um, complete and unique uh, creative solution adaptive verb. So it's $249 MSRP. It's not your $49 one shot thing. No, but this is 24 vocoders. Go do the math. Um, and it's currently on intro promo. 
discount for uh, 149 so you can save 100 bucks. And um, I would recommend that if you have any use for a really cool sounding sound hybridization, synthesis, pitch quantizing, vocoding thing at all, go grab it now. Excellent. Thank you so much, Dennis. Great to see you. You're welcome. Thanks for coming by.